Donald Trump lost two debates to me in 2020. Since then, he hadn't shown up for debate. Now he's acting like he wants to debate me again. Well, make my day, pal. I'll even do it twice. So let's pick the dates, Donald. I hear you're free on Wednesdays. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride chair extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. Thank you. Thank you. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. For favor. Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Yeah! All right. Party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, Thank you for hitting that subscribe button. All right, folks. What are we talking about today, folks? Man. So Stormy Daniels, she was on the stand and, well, she was proven to be a liar. And the one guy to uncover this was Mr. Bill Maher. And first I asked her why she had sex with Trump. Listen to that. And then listen to what she says after that. And then we're going to talk about the trial because it's quite at variance of what she said to me in 2018. Why did you f*** Donald Trump? I have no idea. <laughs> okay. But you say it's not a Me Too case. It is not a Me Too case. I mean, I wasn't uh, assaulted. I wasn't attacked or, or coerced or blackmailed. They tried to shove me in the Me Too box to further right. their own agenda. And first of all, I didn't want any part of that because it's not the truth. And I'm not a victim in that regard. That's not what she's saying now. Mm. Uh, she's talking about he was bigger and blocking the way. It's all the, the Me Too buzzwords. She said uh, there was a power imbalance of power for sure. My hands were shaking so hard. She said she blacked out. Blacked out? She's a porn star. Unbelievable. Yeah. And this is what the left is banking on. The left is using all their credibility on a worker. Yeah. And not even that, they went and called out Mr. Uh, Cohen. This guy is a known perjurer. It's not. He won't be a dictator on day two. He will be a king. He will make himself into the Fuhrer and he will make everybody raise their hand and salute him. You know, Heil Schittler, because that's what he is. That's what he's he going to shut down this station. He wants to jail your president's CEO. He wants to execute Joint Chief of Staff Mark Milley. He wants to, you know, uh, execute uh, Mike Pence. I mean, he's got a hit list of people. He wants to throw everyone into Gitmo. Well, there's even a lawyer who used to be a Democrat, Alan Dershowitz. He is a, everybody knows this guy. He's a big brainiac on the law. And even he, after seeing what Trump has been going through, he flipped and said, I cannot be a Democrat anymore. I'm going to be voting for Donald Trump. Now, that's because of the injustice yeah, he sees firsthand. A lot of people know Dershowitz. He taught a lot of people. He was a professor. He even did, um, he even taught, uh, um, Ted Cruz. So again, he's a big brain. And let's hear what he got to say. I've been doing this 60 years and I can't find the crime here. What I can find is a crime committed today in the courtroom by Michael Cohn. He looked the jury in the eye and he lied. They asked him why he tape recorded his client. And instead of saying, well, maybe I was afraid I needed some protection, he made up this whole story about why he did it for for a pecker. And nobody is going to believe that. And I think this raises serious ethical problems for the prosecutors. In 60 years of doing this, I have never put a witness like Michael Cohen on the stand because I have ethics and good lawyers don't put people on the stand who they know are going to lie, either on direct, and he lied, I believe, on direct, or on cross. And we're going to see lie after lie after lie on cross. And so we see ethical violations occurring right in front of us and lies occurring right in front of us. We don't even have to get into the issue that he lied before and he went to jail. He lied right to this jury. Michael Cohen, this guy. This 
POS right here. He lied to Congress. He lied to courts. He lied to IRS. He went to jail for lying. But y'all got him as a star witness. Come on, man. The only people that's falling for this are you liberals. Well, I have to confess, I, I believe that this day is truly going to go down uh, as a day of infamy for the New York legal system. Watching this unfold in that courtroom as a lawyer is really deeply disturbing. It's not just that you're relying on a serial perjurer. That, that can occur. But it is in a case that we're still not certain what the theory of the crime is. But you're also going to have an, a disbarred attorney turning to that jury and asking them to send his former client to jail for his legal advice, mm -hmm. for following his legal advice. And the way that they're doing this is they're introducing lots of documents that really don't establish anything that's been contested. And they're leaving all types of suggestions of federal campaign violations and, and untoward activity. They haven't thus far stated the elements of any crime. So he's going to have to stick that landing soon. He's going to have to say with absolute clarity that President Trump knew that he was committing fraud in order to hide a crime and what that crime is. And that when they put this denotation down as federal expenses, that was part of the fraud. But they already have prior witnesses that have made the case for the defense, including an accountant that said, look, if we pay Michael Cohen something as the lawyer, it's going to go down as a legal expense. So Michael Cohen has to be the virtual entirety of this case to avoid, to avoid a directed verdict. Now, let me get this straight, guys. Let me get this straight. Okay. Michael Cohen, your star witness, secretly recorded his client. <laughs> I'm going to say this again. Michael Cohen, the lawyer, secretly recorded his client who was asking for advice. You gave him advice and you implemented yourself in a crime. And then this is your big, this is the, this is what the Democrats got. Alvin Bragg, this is what you got. This is what you got right here. Unbelievable. What a sham. What a sham of a case. You can't imagine the things that he's going to do, how far he's going to press the line. If you think Vladimir Putin, Russia entering Ukraine is, you know, for a land grab. Well, what do you think Donald is going to do if he becomes a dictator? Mexico, Canada, whatever our bordering countries are. So, Ali, when you said that you're running to Canada, you know, half my family lives in Toronto. I can only tell you, we can't go to Canada because eventually Canada will become an ex to America. And I know people say, stop it, Michael. It's all hyperbole. And so now we also have proof that the Biden administration has been colluding with Alvin Bragg to get rid of their political opponent, Mr. Trump. And this congressman, Dan Goldman here, he's going to say it. He's going to say it in plain English. Go. That, and I have deposed Michael Cohen. I have met with him um, a number of times to prepare him. Yeah, yeah. What were you talking to Michael Cohen about, congressman? What are what you preparing him for? What are you preparing him for? What is this? They don't even try to hide it anymore, guys. They're not even trying to hide it anymore. We got a congressman actively talking to a witness. Isn't that witness tampering? Hmm. Anybody help me out? I have to admit, none of this is playing out as I thought it would. Trump is now leading in almost all the swing states, but behind those numbers lie even more troubling details. As someone worried about the prospects of a second Trump term, I think it's best to be honest about reality. Mr. Bragg, I don't think you thought this through. Okay, let's say let's say you did find him guilty. Let's say you found Donald Trump guilty and you're going to put him in prison. Okay, now you do know he's with Secret Service for life. So he's going to go in with two or three Secret Service members. And you cannot disarm the Secret Service. So what the hell? How are you going to send a former president 
in prison with Secret Service. You big dummy. How is it going to work out? Everybody's trying to see, man, this is a show. You just want them off the ballot. You tried it with Colorado, that failed. You tried to put them in Maine, that failed. Thanks to the Supreme Court, they say you can't do that. A few states cannot uh, um, get the guy off the ballot. Yeah, tried it anyway. What else you got? You drew in the, the nuts and sluts case with Stormy Daniels. You did tax. What else do you have, guys? We done seen the whole playbook. You throwing everything at him. Nothing is sticking. His name is Teflon Don for a reason. Yeah, you know, using all its capital, you're using all its resources for an end game that's nothing. All you're doing is making them bigger and stronger. And I love it. I love to see the liberals melt down. No. I love them to see them in tears. Your tears make me cheer. I love it. Salty tears. And I'm here for it. <laughs> if you guys got any value out of my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. And tell your mama I said hi. All right, all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you liberals, get your ass off my lawn. Yeah.